Not a, this is not a scam, it's a legend call. Thank you for calling Geek Scott. This is Harry Jefferson. How may I help you today? I got a, an invoice for three forty nine ninety nine dollars auto debited. I, I didn't order it, so I don't know what to do. All right. Okay. Could you please help you with your customer ID number? Six eight seven four six one four zero six. All right. Just give me a moment. Let me check. Okay. Could you please verify your name, sir? What's your name? Yes, Robin, R-O-B-I-N. Last name is Banks, B-A-N-K-S. That's correct. Thank you so much, sir, okay. for verifying yourself. Robin, I can see that you opted the service six months ago. I what? It was a online. You ordered the service six months ago. It was an online purchase, so we gave you a free trial for the initial six months, and you have completed that by today. So that's the reason the service automatically got renewed and you got a charge for three forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I I, 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 don't, I don't even know what this is. So how could I have gotten something six months ago? I don't even know what it is. Uh, so this is a protection plan for your computer. Well, I didn't get it. I, I don't know where it came from. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it. Okay. So can you cancel it? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. So in order to cancel the service, oh. I need to connect you with my cancellation team. We're going to help you further to cancel your service by sharing the cancellation form to you. Once you got the form, you have to fill that with your basic information. And once that's done, the subscription will get canceled. All right? Okay. You can't so just cancel you... it over the phone? You just can't cancel it because they said to? No, sir. You have oh. to fill out the online cancellation form. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. What I got to so do? So are you sitting... Are you sitting in front of your computer, sir? Yeah, I'm sitting by it. Okay, open up your web browser, Google Chrome or any other web browser. Okay, Google Chrome. And look at the top, there must be your address bar. Yeah. So you have to make it empty, remove everything from your address bar. Okay. And type there, W as in this key. Enter service code, it says. Yes, yeah, so let me generate a service code for you. Just give me a moment. Okay. So note down the code, sir. That is 21170. 21107. No, no. 21170. 21170. Uh, uh, okay. All right. Now what? Is that all I got to do? You have to. Yes, you have to enter this number. Then you have to okay. click on the arrow next to that oh, number. Oh, arrow. Okay. Join session. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Click, click on yes. Now you have been successfully connected with our cancellation team. Okay. Now I'm gonna connect you. Your, now I'm gonna oh, connect, connect your call to the, them. They're gonna them. assist okay. your call. They're gonna what? I'm gonna connect your yeah, call to my cancellation okay. team. They're gonna assist you further. Uh, oh. How long right? is this gonna take? Uh, two to three minutes. Once oh. I've been connected. Okay. Your call, they're going to take early four to five minutes of your time. Four or five minutes? Okay. Hello? 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 Just give me a moment, sir. You are in the queue. I'll get you connected. Well, I don't want to be in the queue. I want to get this over with. Thank you so much, Robin, for being online. Okay. Sir, just now I got a mail from my cancellation team. They're going to call you from their direct extension, okay? So they are waiting to call you. For that, we need to just hang up this line, and you have to answer the next call, which is from my cancellation department manager. Okay. All right, so you're going to assist you further, all right? All right. Thank you so much, Robin. And okay. Have a wonderful day. Okay, Thank bye. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Mr. Banks, this is Michael calling you from Geek Squad. How are you doing? Okay, but you got to speak up, sir. I can't hardly hear uh, you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Am I audible to you now? Yeah, now you are. Okay. So uh, this call is in regards to your refund. That is three hundred forty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Right. That I didn't uh, order, yes. and I got to do all this screwing around. What have I got to do here? I got to get this over I'm, with. I'm so sorry to hear that from you, sir. 
I'm the final person to whom you're speaking because after this, there's nobody else who can help okay. you out with this. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. So, uh, Mr. Bangs, I would like to inform you that I have initiated the refund okay. back into the source account from where it was charged or okay, where it was good. processed. And for your kind information, I have got two checking accounts over here which is on board for the charge. One is under your name, but it is with the Bank of America. And the other one is with the Wells Fargo. Is that you are dealing with both the banks? Bank, Bank of America. Bank of America. America. Bank of America. No, I see. Thank you for confirming me with that because we have your social security number registered. By the way, I'm also a, a Better Business Bureau officer uh, who is yeah. working. Okay. Again, I'm also a Better Business Bureau officer, so I have these information safely secured okay. under it. I don't yeah. know why they would have it, but okay. Okay. So I do believe you can check your statements, like you can do the online banking with the Bank of America on the computer and you can pull up the statements in front of you and confirm me. Uh, I have initiated a refund for $349.99. Could you just check and confirm me whether you have received it or not? And apart from you, is there anybody else who has an access to this computer or uses it? Oh, my cousin, Eddie. So it's like your cousin also has an access to your bank information? Yeah, but he, well, not to mine, to his own, but. Oh, okay. I don't think he has any way to get to mine. Sorry, I beg your pardon? I, I, I don't think he can get to mine. Mm-hmm. Eddie, Eddie, you didn't use my account number, did you? Well, what was that yelling? It was that? Eddie. He's, he's a little mixed up. <laughs> Quite scary it was. Well, he, he got hit in the head with a brick when he was working construction. It was years ago. Of course, he worked construction, and I worked in a bakery. I was a pilot in a bakery, and he worked construction. And, <laughs> now we're both retired. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Mr. Bank, apart from Bank of America, are you dealing with any another bank? No. So this is the only account in which you want the funds to be credited back to you. Well, yeah, if that's right. where they took it out, I don't know where the hell they took it out of. Because can you just tell me how old is this computer of yours? Computer? I don't know. It's two, three years old. I don't know. Like a couple of two, three years old. That's why when you bought this computer, the company services were registered and it was, you know, it was operating in the computer since then. And now when it got expired, well, that is not an issue. What I will have to do, I'll have to add your checking account ending with... Huh? Please hold on for a second. Is that your checking account is ending with 1234? Yeah. Well, that's not at all possible because generally... The usual checking accounts are What do you mean it's not possible? It's my freaking bank account. What do you mean it's not possible? How can it not be fucking possible? It's my bank. So, it is not at all possible that you can have a one, two, three, four checking account. How come my bank is always moving? How come who's moving my bank? Is that you? Uh, No. No. Tell me one thing. What 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 is your registered name on the driver's license? Robin. Banks. Robin Banks. And what is your date of birth? 316-1950. What do you got to have all this for? Just give me back my money. I'm going to help you with that for sure, gentlemen. That is not at all an issue. But before going ahead and doing that, it is my responsibility to. And apart from 1, 2, 3, 4 checking. I don't know what the number is. I, I, I never pay attention to what the numbers are. You are using your account and you're saying that you don't have any idea what your account know. number is. You know, do you know what your checking account number is? Absolutely, I know. Okay, what is it? Why am I going to share that with you, sir? Why am I sharing mine with you? Because you're a customer to us and we oh, have I'm charged. a customer, okay. How did you make up this website? Like, how do you make these fake websites? What? What are you talking about? This website, this Bank of America website that you have made, how did you make it? How did I make it? Uh, I made it because I'm a hair smarter than you, you scamming bastard. Uh, I just you... want you to read the one thing to me. Huh? 
Speak up, stupid. Take the goat dick out of your mouth. I am saying that I want to say that. Say, I want you to say that to me again. What did you say? What, I don't know what I said. What did I say? I'm smarter than you? That you're a scam and bastard? That you're a piece of shit? You're a thief? What do you want me to say? And what else? I, I don't know. What, what, what difference does it make? You're a fucking scam and bastard. What difference does it make? What else I call you? You piece of shit. You're a thief. You're no good. You're rotten. You live in a shitty country. You shit in the street. What the fuck more do you want me to tell you? Hmm. Now you tell me. I, I'm going to give you a lesson. I'm going to teach you a lesson before okay, I Okay, you teach me a lesson. Thank you. you it's yes, very, yes. very good of you. The first thing is that whenever you are trying to dupe a scammer, if you are if you are trying to make a fool to a scammer, you should make sure that the things that you are making up and presenting in front of him should be like a legitimate way, just like we pretend to be legitimate or the way we work like a legitimate company. Hello? Wait, wait a minute, there's another scammer on the fucking phone. Go ahead. What do you want? Well, this is Jacob, mm. and I'm calling you with True DX Labs. How are you doing today? Oh, good, 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 Jacob. You want to talk to Jacob? Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead, Jacob. I got another scammer on the other line. I don't know who the fuck to talk to here. You guys are confusing me. Oh, no. Here, I'll sh want me to show you my other bank? Mm-hmm, please. Okay. okay. I, I, I really want to learn that how do you guys make these fake of bank websites? Here's Wells Fargo. Oh, no, what happened here? What a thief. You're a thief. I'm not going to show you anything. Why would I show you how anybody does anything to fuck with you assholes? See, uh, your slangs and your abuse is not going to bring any difference to me and my well, work. Well, no, because you're used I would to like it. To... You're a fucking thief. Mm. You're used to it. <laughs> what the right. fuck? Right, 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 right. right I appreciate right, right. your words. Yeah, I sure mm -hmm. you do, you thieving bastard. I appreciate your words. You go and these words are still on our Wait, you guys really fuck goats over there? Hmm? You see, How do you catch the goat? How do you uh, catch the uh, fucking goat? That's what I want to know. Huh? You see, it is, it, is, it is not me who is trying to get in touch with you. But I would like to tell you one thing, that if you want to see such things to somebody, I would like to say it under one particular name. And I'm telling that name to you. You what? abuse that person. What name? Shaggy. Say Shaggy. Mention Shaggy and say all these things to him. Oh, Shaggy. He's, isn't he the guy that got arrested? Yeah, Shaggy. Yeah, I know. I know who that is. What the fuck? You think it's my first day doing this, stupid? <laughs> well, Thank you for your time. Uh, hey, yeah, you you're your very, time. very welcome, you thieving son of a bitch. Thank you. Are you done, stupid? Yes. Yes, See, I, any yeah, answers, yes, any thanks, answers, girl, any sure. fucking answers. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me talk to somebody else over there. Is there anybody else? Hey, transfer me to somebody else. No, I don't have your mother out here. Thank you. Oh, that's it. That's all you guys got, right? That's all you got, you fucking idiots. <laughs> you have no comebacks whatsoever. None. Unless it involves a mother or a sister. Mm, none of them. Right? You want me, give, want me to give you some comebacks? Maybe it'll help you out. For the, for the next scam baiter gets you because you're a piece of shit. And I'm going to give this number to all of them. Which number? Your number, stupid. You can directly come and meet me in North Carolina. North Carolina. You can't even say it right. How can you live there? You can't even say it. In North Carolina. Just, just the way you <laughs> North were Carolina. Things. Yeah, I live in North Carolina. I know a guy who lives in North Carolina. You fucking stupid fucker. You know what? I'm done with you. You're so fucking dumb. I don't even want to fuck with you no more. Say hello to YouTube. Yeah. Say hello to YouTube. Yeah, you, you don't want to talk to me because you are not able to do me. You are not able to get me, you know. Get your watch. Just say hello to YouTube. I'll hang up. Yeah. Well, let me tell you this. That don't tell the me that. institution not. or the what organization where you're speaking right now. Yeah. None of over here is full enough to fall for your trap. No. Okay. I could call so back will, right uh, now and go through the same fucking thing. I guarantee it. I'll suggest you to do one thing. The number on which you were speaking to earlier. 
the toll free number i guess it was 8777 yeah 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 i want i want you to spoil it what's that mean spoil it i want you to show some works like what you can do to that number why would i do that why Because why would, asking you to why would i show you how i do anything I why would i show you how i do anything huh i want to learn huh? such things from you that's, that's like teaching dillinger how to rob a bank Oh, you don't know Thank who Dillinger you. is either, do you? Stupid. Okay, then if you don't want to teach me, then I'm not going to waste my time. Thank you. Bye -bye. Oh, no, no, please don't go away. You're, you're going to hurt my feelings, you scamming bastard.